This video lesson is all about probability of simple events and the problems involving it. When we say probability of simple events, it is finding the probability of a single event occurring. So we have this formula, probability of simple events is equals to number of favorable outcome or the N of E over the number of total outcome which is the N of S. In talking about probability, our answer should be between 0 to 1 only. If the probability of the event is 1, meaning the event is certain, if the probability of event is 0, it means that the event is impossible to be done or it is impossible to occur. So our answer will be between 0 to 1 so we can use percentage, decimal, or fraction. So in here, we will widely use the fraction. Let's have example number one. Grade 10 Plaridel is composed of 20 males and 18 females. The class advisor will facilitate a classroom election to determine the classroom officers. So we have 20 male and 18 female in the class. What is the gender most likely to win in the presidency? Looking at the number of students, it is likely male to win as president because male is more than the number of female. Next, suppose there are two additional female transfers. What will be the chance that a female student will win as a class president? So here, since we already have 18 female students and then if we add two, it will become 20, so we will have 20 female and 20 male. It means that the chance of the female to win as the president is 50% or 0.5 if we convert it in the decimal or we can use the fraction which is one half. So we have one half probability that the female will be a president in the class. Next, example number two, there are four red balls two green balls, and six yellow balls inside the box. What is the probability of getting a red ball? So in this example, we have four red balls, two green balls, and six yellow balls. So we need to use the formula, probability of the red ball, number of favorable outcome over number of total possible outcome. So for the favorable outcome, we need to get a red, so we have four red balls over the number of total outcome. We need to add all the balls. So we have four plus two plus six, that is 12. So we have four over 12. You need to remember that your answer should be in the lowest term or in the simplest form. So if we can simplify the answer, we need to simplify it. So we have four over 12. We need to get the GCF of 4 and 12. The GCF of 4 and 12 is 4. So we need to divide the fraction by 4 over 4. It is equals to 4 divided by 4, that is 1, over 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So the probability of getting the red ball is 1 third. What is the probability of getting a yellow ball? Using the same formula, the probability of the yellow ball is equals to the number of favorable outcome over the total number of possible outcome. It is equals to our number of favorable outcome since we need to get yellow ball is 6. We have 6 balls. Over the number of total, we have 12. And then we need to get the lowest term of 6 over 12. We need to divide it by the GCF. What is the GCF of 6 and 12? So we have 6. It is equals to 6 divided by 6, that is 1. 12 divided by 6, that is 2. So we have one half chance of getting yellow ball. Example number 3. What is the probability that a letter selected from the word Philippines is the letter I? So using the formula, we need to get the probability of letter I. Our favorable outcome is 3. 
because we have three I's in the word Philippines. Over the number of total possible outcome, we need to count how many letters do we have in the word Philippines. We have 11. So we have 3 over 11 chance of getting letter I in the word Philippines. 3 over 11 is already our final answer. Example number 4. A day is chosen from a week. So we are aware that a week is composed of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we have, so we have 7 days in a week. We need to find the probability of choosing Monday. Using the formula, we will get the probability of Monday. Our favorable outcome is 1 since there is only one Monday in a week over the number of total possible outcome which is 7. So the probability of getting Monday is 1 over 7. What is the probability of selecting a day that starts with the letter T? So we need to get the probability of the day starts with the letter T. Our favorable outcome is 2 since we have 2 days starting with letter T. We have the Tuesday and the Thursday over the total which is 7. So the probability of getting a day which starts with letter T is 2 over 7. Example number 5. Kamagong National High School will distribute modules to its students for their printed modular distance learning. The KNHS teachers pack the modules into three groups. The languages, Filipino and English, the SIMAT, which are Science and Math, and the Makabayan, which are AP, TLE, MAPE, and ESP. There are 140 bundles languages, 160 bundles SIMAT, and 200 bundles of Makabayan. What is the chance that the learner will have the Simon bundle on his first week? So using the formula, we need to get the probability of Simon. Our favorable outcome is 160 because there are 160 bundles of Simon. Over the total, so we need to add all the bundles. So we have 140 plus 160 plus 200, that is 500. And then we need to get the lowest term, so we need to divide it by the GCF. The GCF of 160 and 500 is 20, which is equals to 160 divided by 20, that is 8, over 500 divided by 20, that is 25. So the chance of getting a SIMAT module is 8 over 25. Let us now have the problems involving probabilities of simple events. Example number one. A bag contains five red marbles, six blue marbles, and nine yellow marbles. If the marble is drawn at random, what is the probability that it is a red marble? So using the formula, we need to get the probability of red marble. So our favorable outcome is 5 since we have 5 red marbles over our total. So we need to get the total number of marbles in the bag. We have 5 plus 6 plus 9 that is 20. Next, we need to get the lowest term. So we need to divide 5 and 20 using the GCF. And the GCF of 5 and 20 is 5. Next, we need to simplify it is equals to 5 divided by 5, that is 1, over 20 divided by 5, that is 4. So we have one fourth chance of getting a red marble inside the bag. What is the probability that it is not a blue marble? So we need to get the probability of getting not blue. So our favorable outcome is 14, since we need to add 5 red and 9 yellow over the total which is 20. And then to get the simplified form, we need to divide both by the GCF. And then the GCF of 14 and 20 is 2. So we will have 2 over 2. Which is equals to 14 divided by 2, that is 7, over 20 divided by 2, that is 10. 
we have 7 over 10 chance of getting not blue marble. What is the probability that it is a yellow marble? Using the same formula, we need to get the probability of yellow. Our favorable outcome is 9 since we have 9 yellow marbles over 20. Can we still simplify 9 over 20? No, we cannot. So this is the final answer. 9 over 20 chance of getting a yellow marble. Example number 2. A letter is chosen from the word Philippines randomly. What is the probability that the letter is a consonant? Using the formula in getting the probability of event, we have the probability of consonant. Our favorable outcome is 7 letters since we have 7 consonants in the word Philippines over the total which is 11. So we have 7 over 11 chance of getting a consonant in the word Philippines. What is the probability that the letter is not a letter I? We need to get the probability of not getting I. Our favorable outcome is 8. Since we have 8 letters beside I, which is over 11, which is the total. So we have 8 over 11 probability of not getting I in the word Philippines. Example number 3. You are a witness in a car accident. When the police asked the plate number of the suspect's vehicle, you forgot the last two digits of the plate number, but remembers that it ends in 2, does not contain 5, and the digit is not repeated. How many digits does the police need to check? So looking at the example, we have the keyword last two digits. So you forgot the last two digits, so we need to get the last two digits. And then, you remember that it ends in 2. So our last digit is 2. For the last digit, we only have one possible answer, which is 2. Next, next, we need to get the second to the last digit. And it says here that it doesn't contain 5. So we will disregard 5 and the digit is not repeated. So we cannot use 2 here because 2 is already our last digit. For the second to the last digit, we can use the numbers 0, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8 digits for the second to the last. Next, we need to apply the fundamental counting principle to get the number of total possible outcome. We will multiply 8 times 1 and our N of S is 8. So the police can check 8 digits to get the correct plate number. What is the probability that you will remember the two digits correctly? Using the formula, we need to get the favorable outcome which is 1 because there is only one correct combination of the digit over the total which is 8. So there is 1 over 8 chance of getting the correct digit. Example number 4. A family has 3 children. Give the sample space for the possible gender of the children. So we have the sample space. We have BBB or 3 boys. BBG, BGB, BGG, GGB, GBG, GBB, and GGG, which are three girls. And the total possible outcome, or N of S, is 8. What is the probability that there is exactly one girl in the family? Looking at the sample space, we have the BBG, BGB, and GBB. So we have three favorable outcome over the total, which is 8. So there is 3 over 8 chance of getting exactly one girl in the family. Find the probability that the eldest and the youngest are both boys. So using the formula, our favorable outcome is BBB. BGB. So we have two favorable outcome over the total which is 8. 
and then we need to get the lowest term so we will divide it by the GCF of 2 and 8 which is 2 over 2 which is equals to 2 divided by 2 that is 1 over 8 divided by 2 that is 4 so there is one fourth chance of getting the probability that the eldest and the youngest are same boys example number five suppose that the probability that xyz vaccine can cure a disease is 0 0.931 what is the probability that the patient treated with the vaccine will not be cured so we have the highest number for probability which is one which is the certain situation minus the probability that the XYZ vaccine can cure the disease so we have 0.931 next we need to get the probability that the patient treated will not be cured using the vaccine so we will just subtract it so we have 0.069 chances of not being cured using the vaccine so that's how we solve the probability of simple events